Yo, what's going on guys? Cooked here, bringing another Monster Hunter World video. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at my Paralyzed Longsword build, which I have dubbed Taroth's Taser. So before we get into that, I just wanted to say a quick thank you for reaching you know, for the 400 subs. That is absolutely amazing. Um, we basically grew uh, 300 subs within two weeks, so that is, that is super awesome. Hopefully we can get to 1,000 by the end of the month, but... Uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess we'll see when we get there. So getting into this here, I just want to go over a couple of quick tips on using the longsword. So first of all, you always want to do your spirit helm breaker when your spirit gauge is outlined in red, meaning that you're at the maximum charge because it does do quite a bit more damage than if you're at one of the lower tiers. The other thing is sliding down a hill. If you hit R2 and then R2 again, if that second hit there connects, it will upgrade your spirit gauge level by one more which is pretty awesome. So it's super good like if you're on a hill or something like that to pull off that move just because you're able to upgrade your spirit gauge by one level a lot quicker. The other thing as well is if you um, if you hit triangle and circle at the same time and go into your fade slash and then go into your uh, spirit blade combo, it's kind of like a little bit of a shortcut into getting to your, to your last hit there which will also upgrade your gauge. So let's just take a look at what we have going on. So first of all, we have the Taroth Sword Paralysis. It has pretty decent stats. It has not the highest attack, but not too bad either. Natural White Sharpness, and then 330 Paralysis with a level three jump slot and plus 20 defense. Now for the augments, I would definitely go with Affinity or Attack, but um, I think I'm probably gonna go with Affinity, but you can go with Attack. Uh, doesn't really matter honestly. <laughs> um, taking a look here though we have our Awakening Charm level 2 for 2 points into Free Element. We have our Near Higante Helm Alpha for 2 points into Maximum Might and then a point to Attack Boost. Our Cool of Chest Piece for 2 points into Sun Resist and 2 points into Crit Boost. We have our Cool of Tross Rage Beta for a point into Free Element and a point into Power Prolonger. We have our Near Higante Coil Beta for 2 points into Attack Boost. And lastly here we have our Dante's Leather Boots Alpha for two points in a weakness exploit. So taking a look at the mantles, we have the Apothecary and the Rock Steady. I feel like those are definitely good choices. The Rock Steady so that you're able to fill up that spirit gauge a lot quicker. So taking a look here, um, I do have an alternate build if you guys don't have the Sharp Jewel or the three Paralyzed Jewels that I'll show you in a second. But taking a look at this one here, we have a Sharp Jewel. We have our Grinder Jewel 1 but you are also able to switch this out for a Steadfast Jewel if you'd like. Um, I just go with the Grinder because it's a little bit, yeah, I feel like it works a little bit better with the Sharp Jewel, obviously. Then we have an Attack Jewel, we have a Critical Jewel, and you could also switch this Critical Jewel out for a Mighty Jewel to give you more affinity, but since we already do have pretty decent affinity, I'm planning on putting an affinity um, augment on it, I would definitely go with the Critical Jewel there. But then as mentioned, we have the three Paralyzed Jewels and a Tenderizer Jewel. So taking a look at all of that together, we have a 75% chance to crit with no augment and then 410 Paralysis. And the skills that we have are Attack Boost Level 4, we have Paralysis Attack 3, Free Element 3, Critical Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Stun Resist 2, Maximum Might 2, uh, power Prolonger 1, Speed Sharpening 1, and a Protective Polish. So yeah, not too bad. Now, let's just take a look at the second build again. So if you don't have the three Paralyzed Jewels or the Sharp Jewels, then you can go with this one. It still does take one Rare Jewel, but it's not quite as bad. So we obviously have the same sword here. Then we're going to switch here to the Immobilized Charm 3 for the three points into Paralysis Attack. We have the Near Yagate Helm. Cool of chest piece, the Kaiser Van Braces, the Near Higante Coil, and the Kieran Leg Guards. Super, super fashionable, I know. So taking a look, this is the only really rare jewel that you would need. It's the Release Jewel 3, giving us a third point to free element. And we have an Attack Jewel, a Steadfast Jewel, Triple Grinder, and a Tenderizer Jewel. It's really not too hard to achieve. So let's take a look at what we have when we bring all of that together. So we have Attack Boost Level 4, we have Stun Resistance 3, Paralysis Attack 3, 
Free Element 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Speed Sharpening 3, Critical Boost 2, and Maximum Might 2. So you do lose out on a little bit of damage here since we don't have, you know, that third uh, point into Critical Boost. But, you know, if, if this is what you have, you can definitely work with that. Now, as far as the, you know, as like the sharpness goes and stuff like that, you're pretty much able to fill up your Spirit Gauge completely to the red tier of charge. Uh, before you have to sharpen up again But you know, it doesn't really matter honestly like it only takes one little swipe of your whetstone To sharpen up to full again with the triple grinder So it's really not that bad even if you do lose sharpness Just take a second in the fight to sharpen up again and then get back in there But as you can see, you know, it does last for quite a while because the natural white sharpness on the weapon is is pretty decent But uh, yeah, so I decided to go after a Odegaron because we are pals now and he loves being paralyzed by me by any sort of paralysis build that I do and also gives me a chance to show off my amazing skills with the four side slash not really that great with it but uh, but yeah if you if you guys do practice that it's gonna make your longsword game a lot better and you're just gonna be ripping through monsters but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the video I have a thunder slash KO hammer set and also a blast bow set that's gonna be coming out soon but for now, this has been Cooked, and I'll see you all in the next Tasty episode.